This is the art of war. In war, there are five steps. Measurement, estimation, calculation, comparison, victory. Earth determines measurement. Measurement determines estimation. Estimation determines calculation. Calculation determines comparison. Comparison determines victory. There are five pitfalls for a general. Recklessness leading to destruction. Cowardice leading to capture. A hot temper prone to provocation. A delicacy of honor tending to shame. A concern for his men leading to trouble. These five excesses in a general are the bane of war. If an army is defeated and its general slain, it will surely be because of these five perils. They demand the most careful consideration. There are five ways to attack by fire. The first is to burn men. The second is to burn supplies. The third is to burn equipment. The fourth is to burn warehouses. The fifth is to burn lines of communication. In war, know these five changes of fire and be vigilant. Fire assists an attack mightily. Water assists an attack powerfully. Water can isolate, but it cannot take away. To win victory, to complete an objective, but not to follow through is a disastrous waste. Hence the saying, the enlightened ruler considers deeply, the effective general follows through. Never move except for gain. Never deploy except for victory. Never fight except in a crisis. A ruler must never mobilize his men out of anger. A general must never engage battle out of spite. Move if there is gain. Halt if there is no gain. Anger can turn to pleasure. Spite can turn to joy. But a nation destroyed cannot be put back together again. A dead man cannot be brought back to life. So the enlightened ruler is prudent. The effective general is cautious.